Terry here with True Blind Gaming, where we believe the only limit is yourself. And we are back with another True Blind Craft Guide episode for the Minecraft Access mod. I have been asked a lot to do a inventory and crafting video for the different menus and crafting in the game. So let's just get right into it. So to first explain, when you're in the overworld and you can hear yourself walking around and jumping and everything, you have a hot bar which is the one through nine keys on the keyboard. And if you press no those, as I just pushed one, I have oak logs. That means you take those items into your hand. Two is empty. Three is empty. If you keep pushing it, if it doesn't say anything else, that means it's that current status. So the rest of my slots are empty. Ten oak logs selected. One has 10 oak logs. Like I just chopped down my first couple trees. To open the inventory, we push the E key. Crafting, player inventory group selected, 54 oak logs. So you are currently dropped into an inventory. The inventory for the player is three rows of nine square, uh, nine slots each. So a total of 27. So three rows high, nine columns long. And you navigate these on by default using the L, K, L, and I keys. So L to move right. Empty slot, empty slot, empty slot, empty slot. Button. Press enter to J to move left. Empty slot, empty slot, empty slot. I to move up. No slot above. And if you're on the edge, you hear just the nothing above you empty slot, empty slot. and K for down. And empty you can slot, navigate no slot, no slot, no slot, all slot. over these. You can see I have like 54 slot, uh, logs in that slot. And I'm just going around slot, all the edge of it. So to move around different items in the inventory or the inventory screen, you push the C key. C is in Charlie. So if we hit C now, hot bar group selected. Ten oak log. It says we're in our hot bar. So this is the inventory's hot bar and we're on the first slot, 10 logs. This is one row of nine slots. So you move, move the J and L keys left and right to move through here. And I, you can see I don't have anything else in my inventory. If we push C again, crafting input. So for the player's inventory, we have a two by two crafting grid. What that means is it is two rows of two slots each or two columns, if you prefer. It first will place you in the top left slot, which is row one, column one. If you move to the right, one X two empty slot. One X, one X two empty slot. you will be in row one, column two. Now, so that's one enemies. by two. If you move down two X two empty slot. in the bottom right slot is the second row, second column. Two X one empty slot. And the bottom left is the uh, second row, first column. So this is the default crafting grid the player is presented with. If we push C again, crafting output group selected, empty slot. Crafting output. This is only one slot. No slot, no If slot, you try no to move slot, around, no you won't hear it, but it's only one slot. Then that anything you craft will show up in that slot. Just to cover the rest of this menu, if you push C again, scrollable recipes group, craftable three oak wood. You are in a crafting recipe book, which you can arrow through. Craftable four oak planks. To kind of see right. what else you can craft with the materials that are available in your inventory. We'll skip over this for now. I'll explain how to use that a little Crafable bit later. Wood. If we push C again, armor group selected. Empty slot. we're in our armor slot, which is one column of four slots. The top slot, which is the ones you're dropped into, is for your helmet. One diamond chest plate durability. The second one 100, is for your chest plate. Plus empty slot. The third one is for your leggings. One diamond boots durability, 65. And the th fourth one is for your boots. Anytime you equip armor, they end up in these slots. And you can see I have a chest plate and some boots right now. If you push C again. Offhand group selected. One shield durability, 155 of 300. The final slot in the player's inventory is the offhand slot, which currently has a shield. It is a single slot. No slot, no slot, no, no slot. As you can hear, and I have a shield in there right now. To move back up through the inventory, if you want to go back, it's Shift C. Armor group selected. So Empty armor, slot, recipes, group, crafting, recipes, crafting, crafting, output group selected. crafting, crafting input, group selected. Crafting input top bar, group selected. Top bar inventory. Group selected. inventory. So let's do some. Cr that is the basic inventory. So let's do some crafting, and I will explain the next crafting menu when we get there. Hot bar group In my hot bar, there are ten logs. You move, use the J I K L keys to navigate until you hear oak logs to grab these to move them around you use the simulated left click key or your left mouse button empty slot if you hear empty 
that means you picked them up. To put them back down, you push left again. Ten o'clock selected. So we want to pick these up. Empty slot. Navigate to the crafting, crafting group using C. One X one empty slot. And we want to push left in the crafting grid. Doesn't matter which one for this recipe. One X one ten o'clock. So we put ten oak logs in the crafting table. If we now push C, crafting output group selected. Four oak planks. We have it, one log will make four oak planks. So if we push uh, left right now, we will pick up four oak planks. And we, if we move back to our hotbar, hot selected. Empty slot. Player inventory group select hotbar group. Empty slot. Empty slot. Four oak planks selected. I just placed four oak planks in my hotbar. If we go back to the crafting, crafting grid, group selected. One X, one nine oak you can see there are nine oak logs there now. So that means that we only used up one of the logs. If we want to, say, turn all these logs into planks in one foul swoop and place them in our hotbar, if you hold shift and push the left mouse button, Empty slot. it will craft all those logs into planks. Group, hotbar group selected. Empty slot. 40 oak planks. And we have 40 oak planks because each log turns one log into four planks, 10 logs, 40 planks. When you, left, when you shift left click something, it will add it to the hotbar starting from the right and go into the left. Or if there's a stack of planks or something already in your hotbar, it will add them there. So if you can't find it right away, just make sure you look around and try to find it. The next thing we need is a crafting table. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our planks again with left click. Empty slot. Crafting input group. Now we just can't place the planks down um, in one slot. We have to fill each slot of the crafting table with one plank each. And we do that with a right click. So I'm in the first slot. If I push right click, one, X, one, one, oh, planks. one we move to the right, one X, two, empty slot. put another plank, one X, two, one, oh, planks. move two, down, X, two, slot. put another plank, two, X, two, one, oh, planks. and move two, X, to the one, left, slot. put another plank. Two, X, one, one, oh, planks. Now that's only taking up four planks. So I have to hot go back to my hot bar to drop off my rest of my planks. 36 oh, planks selected. And now I'm going to see crafting down input, to the crafting, crafting output. output. One crafting table. We have one crafting empty table. Craft, now playing. Aaron Carroll, I just picked that up. Empty slot. I'm going to place that in my second hot bar, hot bar slot. 36 oak planks. So I have 36 oak planks one crafting table. and one crafting table. Now what I need to do is I need to use that crafting table, but I can't open it in the inventory. I it's Right now it's an item. I need to place it down in the world so I can use it. So I'm going to exit my inventory by pushing escape. West. Now the best way to place items in the world like this Gra when you're beginning is to look straight down using the camera controls. Down. Make sure you have the hot bar One crafting table selected. slot selected, which is two for us. And you're going to jump using space and then right click to place something. Crafting table. And as you heard, uh, that thunk sound was the crafting table going down. That banjo dinging sound means we have an item we can interact with an in inventory. And you heard it say crafting table. So visually, we are standing on top of the crafting table, which I just set in the world. Now to interact, we use the right click because the right click is the place or interact button. So we right click. Crafting. Player inventory group selected. 54 o'clock. So you heard crafting. We are now in the crafting inventory which starts out the same way. It has the players nine, three rows by nine slots each inventory. Hot bar group selected. C takes us to our same one row of nine slots hot bar. Crafting input group selected. One X one empty slot. But the crafting input is now changed. It is now three rows of three slots each or three columns. If that is easier for you and you're always dropped in the first top slot, which is uh, one Column one, row one, column one. One X two empty slot button. Press if you go to the right, it's row one, column two. One X three empty slot. And the third one is row one, column three. You'll know you're in the crafting menu if you've got the three by three. The player does not have access to that. You have to be accessing a crafting table. Two X three empty Like slot. if you go down to the bottom right, three X three empty slot. you got a three X three, which means you're in your third row, third column. Crafting output group. And then you empty have. Slot. If you see again, you have the crafting output, which is again only one slot. Scrollable recipes group, craftable three oak wood. And you have the crafting uh, crafting recipes. Craftable three oak wood. That is all that is in this menu. This is only used for crafting your armor and stuff. You have to access from craftable the player inventory. Crafting output group selected. Now, slot. what we want to do is craft our first tool, crafting input which will selected. be hot bar commonly a wooden pickaxe. Empty slot. Thirty-six oak planks. If we take our oak planks. 
First, we need to cr the, the recipe for a wooden pickaxe is two sticks and three oak planks. So you need two different ingredients, but we don't have any sticks. What we can do is take our planks, go to the crafting table. Now, it doesn't matter what two slots you use as long as one is above the other. So if I'm in the first row, first column, place a plank there. Go down one in the second row, first column, place another plank. Remember to go back and drop off my planks. The um, output now has four sticks. So I'm going to pick those up. Put them in my hotbar just for uh, simplicity's sake. Now we can craft our pickaxe. This is a recipe where the order in the crafting table matters. It's a structured recipe. Let's start by using our planks. Oop, I keep pushing the wrong button, sorry. We're in the crafting table. Let's see if I remembered my planks. I did not. I grabbed them now. A pickaxe has three oak planks in the top rows from left to right. So we're in the top left row already. So one, move to the right, using the right click to drop a plank in the first row, second column. And finally, one in the first row, third column. And back to the hot bar to drop off our planks. And we have four stick. We need two sticks for this recipe. So it needs to go in the second column, second row. Put one stick there. And one in the third row, second column. So if you can imagine, it's like a T shape with the planks on top and the sticks form the handle or the leg of the T. So it looks like, it looks like a pickaxe. <laughs> Drop off the rest of our sticks. And if we go to the crafting output, you hear a pickaxe. It tells you it's dura how much durability it has and its max durability and how much damage it does if you decide to do combat with it. So let's pick that up by using C or I mean, sorry, left click and move shift C to move back to the hotbar. And we're going to drop that in our third slot. So that is how you basically get to crafting a pickaxe. Now, let me show you a shortcut. Um, we have two sticks now and how many planks left? 31 oak planks. Another tool that people will commonly craft is a shovel, a wooden shovel. There's actually a wooden, there's a pickaxe, an ax, a shovel, a hoe, and a sword are typically the five basic tools. If you want to do this faster, if you notice the, um, the recipe book down, if you keep pushing C, you are now in a recipes book. If you have the ingredients in your inventory, it doesn't matter where, to craft this recipe, it will be presented if you just use the left and right arrows and up and down, or left and right, oh, sorry, J, L, K, and I keys to move around. I can craft a stone sword because I do have some cobblestone hanging around in my inventory. A wooden shovel. One wooden hoe. One stone pickaxe. And that's because it knows we have enough sticks and we have enough planks in our inventory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that shovel. I'm going to push left click on it. You come up to the input, uh, the output, the crafting output. And if you want to, you can go to the crafting table and you can kind of look around to see what the recipe looks like. So there's one uh, oak plank in the first row, second slot. Three X2, one stick. And two sticks below that. So it's two sticks with a plank on top to form a shovel. Crafting output group selected. One wooden shovel. Go to the output. Empty slot. Left click on it to pick it up. Hotbar group selected. 30 oak planks. Empty one wooden pickaxe. Empty slot. And drop one wooden shovel. That in your inventory. Now we don't have any more sticks made. So if we go back to the crafting the selected. crafting empty recipes. Slot. No slot right. No slot left. No slot above. Crafting input group selected. One X1 empty slot. Crafting output group selected. Empty slot. You can kind of see there's not really it's not available. It's not showing us anything that we can craft. But if we do something cool, this is the um, this is a search um, item. If you push, you know, only if you're in the inventory, because it'll bring up chat. Otherwise, if you're in the inventory, push T. Search items edit box. Type the first word of the item you're looking for. So if we want to make sticks, so I'm going to type in stick. Search items search 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 items edit box stick. And push enter. Empty slot. Now if we go to the crafting recipe. Scrollable recipes group craftable four stick. Okay, now you can see in the craft 
crafting recipes. I got an error or something wrong with my inventory there. So sorry, I have fixed it. But you now see we have the four sticks recipe. If you left click on this, it will put enough planks to make four sticks. If you left click it again, it will put enough for more sticks. So you can click this as many times as you need sticks. So let's make, that's eight, 12, 16 sticks. We go back to our output where it only says four sticks because it's two, two planks make four sticks. But if you want to make all 16 sticks, you shift, left shift, left click. Empty slot. And that will move the sticks from the output. Pop -bar group, empty slot. 22 oak planks, button. 22 oak planks left because we used eight to empty make 16 slot. sticks. One one empty and again, empty it fills from the slot. right. So our 16 sticks are at the right end of our hotbar. Now let's say we wanted to craft a wooden sword. So let's put the search. search. We have to array stick, put in sword. Search, search recipes. Oh, that's what happened. Sorry. Crafting. Here. Button. Press enter to activate. Crafting. Player inventory group selected. Let me do that again. Crafting, crafting out scrollable recipes group. Craftable. Search items edit box. Search items edit box. Search items edit box. Sword. Sword. Craftable one stone sword. So we can make a stone sword because I have cobblestone in my inventory. Button. But we're looking for a Craftable wooden one sword. Craftable one wooden sword. One wooden sword. So we're going to put left on that. Crafting output group selected. One wooden sword durability. And we have one wooden sword. So we're going to left click on that. Crafting in hot bar groups. Empty slot. One wooden pickaxe. Empty slot. 20 oak planks. Empty slot. And we're just going to drop that in our inventory. So we have taken several logs through um, the crafting process. And now we have a crafting table. We have uh, a few wooden tools. We learned how to make things by just dropping items into the, the crafting slots. Remember, the player gets a two by two. The crafting table is a three by three and some recipes need the two by two. Many need the three by three and some have a pattern that you have to follow. We also showed you can scroll through the recipe book. You can also use the um, search item to search for items in the recipe book. We also showed that you can use left click to pick up stuff and drop it. Right click to place down one item in a time to place them in slots. And also left shift plus left click to move items from the cra output craft um, output slot into your inventory or hotbar. So that and make sure when you're done with your crafting table that you get out and you punch your crafting table Dirt. until you hear it drop so you can pick that up West. and that will drop right into your inventory so i hope you guys have liked this episode it's relatively short this time i'm going to try to shorten up these videos so someone doesn't have to sit through like this is actually might be a still a 20 minute video but next time i'm hoping that we can get to building a little house so i can show how that is done what kind of building methods i use and everything but I hope you guys have enjoyed this Minecraft episode. Now playing C418 with hands. Stop picking weird music. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Try Try bleh, True Blind Craft Guide. And please let me know what you guys would like to see next. Thank you for watching and talk to you guys later.